slide down the back cinch and just barely touch her and pluck. And for each step she takes, I'll release my hand. Then I'll take my hand off and still keep the nose. And release and pet. Good girl. So again, she's very focused. Move her up here and do the other side. as you get on, pet her for being good about standing while I'm mounted, and then again ask her to flex, whoa, it's important to me that she understands, I love talk, clucking or kissing, that things should be moving, whoa, so I'm constantly in the beginning of a training reminding them, and I let them know, good girl, when I'm pleased, whoa, and I'll do this about three times, each direction, wait for that last inch, ask slow, Slide your hand down, follow it up your pant line, ask slow, wait for that last inch, release quick, and pet. She's good left and right, now we're going to work on down, shorten up my reins so that when I bring my wrist down and my elbows back, I'm still in front of my saddle. She gives, release quick, ask slow, one finger, two fingers, release quick, ask slow, one finger, two fingers, release quick. Because I barrel raise, I like to stay in a box. I don't tend to get my hands too up or too out. I want a more finished reining cue and stay in like a six inch rectangle in front of my saddle horn, beneath my saddle horn, above my withers, and about a six inch rectangle in front of my saddle. So for my go cue, my rate cue, and my flex or turn cue. So I might have to adjust my split reins at times to stay in that box. But I prefer not to have to get up here. You can train a horse to get the pressure from up here. You know, a lot of rainers and stuff ride with the hands higher when they're teaching and then refine as they go. But I like to start everything in that little box if I can. That way I don't have to do a lot of refining down the road. But if I need to, I will. And that's where split rates come in handy. You can do more, um, you know, like on your two-year-olds and such. But overall, um, she's giving nicely. And that's all I'm looking for. The next thing before I move on to riding is I'll just disengage her hind quarters. And so I get the nose, say, whoa, leg in the back cinch, cluck. And again, just barely use my calf and my foot if I need it. Calf first and foot second. I want her to be light, so I start light. If I start heavy, then she'll always be heavy. So if I can just let my pants touch my skin, touch her hair, 
she was looking at the horses in the barn. So, you know, where was her attention? And so I don't mind an ear cocked, you know, flat out pinned ear. Sometimes you'll see that when a horse is working barrels or cutting a cow because they just want to get their target so bad. So don't always think pinned ears are a bad thing. I know you were mentioning that when you were here last week. But, you know, just learn to watch their eyes and their ears. 